history witnessed many great leaders. But out of all, there is one general that some historical sources claim he never lost a single battle in his life. Khalid ibn al-Walid, also known as the Sword of Allah, was a military commander and companion of Prophet Muhammad. He was born around 592 AD in Mecca, belonging to the powerful and influential Quraysh tribe, known as Khalid, meaning immortal or eternal. He came from a distinguished background, with his father being Walid ibn al-Mughira, a notable figure in Meccan society. Khalid's military prowess became evident in various battles, earning him the nickname Saifullah, or the Sword of Allah. He was undeniably successful in numerous engagements, some historical sources even claiming he never lost a single battle in his life. Khalid played a significant role in the expansion of the Rashidun Caliphate. Under his leadership, the Rashidun Caliphate, during the caliphates of Abu Bakr and Umar, expanded its influence into various regions, including Arabian Peninsula, parts of Syria, Iran, and Iraq. Khalid was a formidable warrior and an influential figure in the Arabian Peninsula. He was known for his unmatched prowess in duels and battles. Prior to embracing Islam, Khalid was initially a strong opponent of the Prophet Muhammad and played a significant role in battles against the early Muslim community. The course of Khalid's life took a dramatic turn when he embraced Islam in the eighth year of the Islamic calendar, 630 AD. His conversion was a notable turning point and he became one of the Prophet's most trusted companions. Khalid's military force, which was before used against the Muslims, was now utilized for the expansion and defense of the Islamic State. Despite his earlier opposition, the Prophet Muhammad forgave Khalid's past actions, recognizing the potential for his skills to be used in the service of Islam. One of Khalid's notable achievements was his leadership in the Battle of Muta in 629 AD, where he demonstrated exceptional bravery and tactical skill. Khalid also played a crucial role in key battles such as the Battle of Badr, the Battle of Uhud, and the Battle of the Trench, contributing significantly to the early successes of the Muslim community. Another notable moment was his role in the peaceful conquest of Mecca in 630 AD. His strategic brilliance ensured a bloodless victory, and the city that once opposed Islam embraced it under the leadership of Prophet Muhammad. After the death of Prophet Muhammad in 632 AD, Khalid continued to serve Islam and expand Rashidun Caliphate under the Caliphate of Abu Bakr, and later under Umar ibn al-Khattab. In Arabian Peninsula, Khalid was instrumental in suppressing tribal rebellions during the Ridda Wars, ensuring the unity of the Arabian tribes under the leadership of the Caliphate. In Syria, Khalid played a crucial role in battles against the Byzantine Empire, including the Battle of Yarmouk, 636 AD, which resulted in the Muslim conquest of Syria. This campaign marked a significant expansion of the Rashidun Caliphate's territorial control. In Iraq, Khalid achieved victories in battles such as Qadisiyah, 636 AD, leading to the conquest of Iraq and the defeat of the Sasanian Persian Empire. Khalid and the Rashidun Caliphate made further advances into Persia, culminating in the conquest of the Persian capital, Ctesiphon, in 637 AD. In Egypt, although Khalid was not directly involved, the expansion of the Rashidun Caliphate continued under subsequent leaders, eventually leading to the incorporation of Egypt into the Caliphate's domains. Khalid's leadership style was marked by a keen understanding of his troops and the battlefield. He was known for adapting swiftly to changing circumstances and making strategic decisions that maximized the strengths of his forces. His leadership fostered a sense of discipline and unity among his soldiers, contributing to their effectiveness on the battlefield. One lesser-known aspect of Khalid's military prowess was his ability to employ psychological strategies on the battlefield. He recognized the importance of causing fear and uncertainty in the hearts of his enemies. Khalid was known for employing false retreats to draw his opponents into vulnerable positions, allowing him to launch devastating counterattacks. Khalid, recognizing the psychological impact of a personal combat, 
would sometimes challenge opponents to one-on-one -on -one duels before the start of larger battles. This tactic aimed to create a sense of fear and uncertainty among the enemy ranks, presenting Khalid as a formidable, fearless warrior. This boosted the morale of the Muslim forces and demoralized and intimidated the opposing army. In addition to his military achievements, Khalid had a unique role in preserving the Quran. During the Caliphate of Abu Bakr, he was assigned the task of collecting the scattered verses of the Quran into a single, unified book. This compilation laid the foundation for the standardized text of the Quran that we have today. Despite his military successes, Khalid maintained a simple and humble lifestyle. He refrained from accepting any personal gains from his victories, emphasizing his commitment to the principles of justice and equity in Islam. Khalid ibn al-Walid passed away in 642 AD in Homs, Syria. His legacy endures as a symbol of military prowess, strategic genius, and the transformative power of faith. The multifaceted aspects of his life, from military leadership to Quranic compilation, contribute to his lasting impact on Islamic history. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment about what topic our next video should be. Until next time.